I find it interesting that there are species that have been around for a long time and they haven't needed to change much. But then in this short period of time, humans have had such a drastic impact on their population and they aren't able to adapt to that quick enough. So it's actually quite sad to see how well built they are. But then they're so vulnerable when it comes to humans. Here in Ontario, we have nine species of turtles. And of the nine, all of them but one are species at risk. We commonly get in the common snapping turtle and the um, painted turtle. And then we see the blinding turtle. Directly, we lose individuals who are struck by cars, for instance, or when they get like the fishing line stuck on them. Uh, people who remove them from the wild to keep, uh, whether it's like young or adult, ones that come in with like really foreign objects. It feels good to be part of an organization that we're able to help individuals or turn them back into the wild. So it feels like we get to be part of that conservation effort. Because on the other view, it looks mm -hmm. real. Okay, so that's why I was like, is this like a fish hook? Oh, it looks like, well, there's a screw top, so that's it can be lengthened. So it's like an arrow? Maybe. Maybe. With a barb in it? Yeah. Like, would, is there yeah. a little harpoon you can get? Or like a, yeah, a, it, that's a, what it looks like. It looks like a little harpoon. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it looks like. It was definitely a shock to see. It is always difficult when we see such traumatic things happen to them. This turtle in particular, he had lived maybe 25, 30 years. And for him to all of a sudden have this injury is, it's sad to see. It's an animal that's just trying to be itself and live and survive in the wild. So we need to really put aside those emotions so that we can focus on what needs to be done, communicate well with each other so that we can help that animal. So we use a plunger on snappers really to protect ourselves from being bit. And then we can cover their heads and see which them, push them in their head into the plunger to protect everyone around to make sure that when we're doing any injections or any kind of treatment on them, that no one is going to get hurt. So I'm going to sedate this turtle because he's a snapping turtle. We can't do very much to approach a space. So um, we need to anesthetize him or at least deeply sedate him. Turtles are very... Stoic animals, they don't necessarily flinch, they don't vocalize, but they are definitely feeling pain. And we need to do as much as possible, as quickly as possible, as stress-free as possible for that patient. Are you just measuring it? Mm -hmm. okay. it's all wow, I can feel where the other bar is. It's right here. And if I... My idea is like if I can, can go down the side and, and then I can get the all the tissue out of the way and pull. Pull it up. Okay, so it's clearly been here for a long time. Yeah. The amount of dirt and that it's not bleeding on me. Mm. Um, oh, I can see it. It had pierced completely through his heart palate and into his mouth. It's already difficult to live to be wildlife, and then to have this additional injury just makes it so much harder. I'm trying to cut some tissue now because basically what's happening is we got our thing going down, the barbs off the side, and it's embedded in all this tissue. So I'm trying to make a little incision right above it so that the barb cannot get caught and I can get it out. Do you like my diagram? Come on. Yeah, is it coming out? There, I can see yeah, it. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, there, it's out. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my god, it's way bigger than yeah. I thought it was. Pull. Wow! It is an arrowhead. Oh, it has an extra barb. Holy. It's some sort of projectile that's got barbs on it, so I assume it's made to hold in place. Probably is some sort of hunting thing. It was embedded about six and a half centimeters in, um, so I'm glad we were able to get it out without doing too much damage. It was definitely a huge relief that he wouldn't have to live with that anymore.
So we got in a Blinding's turtle, adult size. Um, she was found by someone's kid, I think. Had found her, took her from her wetland system and kept her in a bucket. So when turtles are removed from their environment, that can pose some long-term problems for them, depending on their circumstances. We don't know if there have been changes to their shelter or their diet circumstances, so that when they are brought back out and released, they may not have that time to have adapted to those changes, and it can just make for a more challenging time for them. On admin, she was pretty healthy. It's just one of those situations where a month in a bucket didn't do too much poor for her health but we still keep them here, give them good husbandry, make sure that they're doing well for a good amount of time for us to make sure that she was healthy and capable of going back into the wild. When the females are gonna be laying their eggs, they are crossing the roads and then they get struck by cars. So we're gonna see a high volume of hit by car females come in. I'm gonna put this turtle shell back together. You're gonna what? Put, put the, the shell back, back together. together. Oh, yeah. Okay, go right here. So basically, I would like to push this together as close to how it should be as I can. Um, the closer you get it, the better it feels. You just have to like play around with it based on the size of your turtle. You want it to hold its shape, to not be too heavy. You want it to be moldable so that you can like shape it into the way that you want it. Obviously, I'm sandpapering a, a sensitive area. Probably just feels like I'm scratching it. but it helps the epoxy stick to it. It's not gonna be the prettiest one I've ever done, but whatever, I think it's the job. Okay, and then can somebody press it down into place? Pretty tight. Okay, I'll do this. Now we wait. To lose a reproducing adult turtle is a big loss to an ecosystem. So maybe her offspring will be able to be reintroduced. Our snappers, they don't really get um, like mature enough to reproduce until they're 17. So for her to have eggs means that she's made it through that critical stage in life where when they're hatchlings, there's a lot of predation, so she's made past all of that. And then for her to get hit by a car, you lose such a huge contributor to the population. But I always hope that, you know, seeing them with the eggs, that hopefully they've had lots of eggs, many years with eggs, before they end up here, and at least we can hopefully save her eggs. These turtles that are coming in are usually coming in as a result of direct or indirect human influence. So to allow them to be released and have that opportunity to thrive and reproduce is always going to be worth it with the population that is really sensitive right now. Saving one turtle's life will always be worth it.